my top 20 items that I will always be repurchasing for life. If you guys hear banging in the background, they're building a house across the street, so we're just gonna pretend that that's not happening, but hopefully you can't hear the banging. I feel like it's just time for me to update all the products that I literally will take to the grave with me, that I will use till the end of time because I've been using them for so long. This isn't a rant, it's not just makeup, honey. It is hair, fragrances, underwear, skincare, brushes and razors and all the things, okay? I just threw them into one video, so it's gonna be my top 20 items. Items. Subscribe before you leave. We're not wasting any time. Let's jump right in. Okay, I'm not gonna start with makeup. I just wanna start with hair. Let's do it. The first item is this. Okay, you guys have seen me use this for years and years and years. And this is the most handy dandy item I think that has ever been created for hair. This is the got to be glued is the blasting free spray. These count as one, okay? I'm just gonna mention both of them even though I said I was gonna mention 20. <laughs> but I like to use both of these items. This is the strongest hold hairspray. My nose is literally dripping. Come through allergy season we're back best hardest hold hairspray it will leave your hair feeling like hard as a rock and crunchy but that's perfect for certain sleek hairstyles if you want to do anything creative this is it now what I used to do with this is spray it on a spoolie to calm my little baby hairs down but I don't even have to do that anymore because they came out with the got to be for brows also for edges this is just as strong as a hold product it does dry down kind of shiny like the spray but it works so well let me just show you so I don't do my edges every day only whenever they're out of control and I have like a sleek back look Look, but the way this like and then we're done <laughs> look at that but we're literally done that's all it took my baby hairs will be in place all day it's not gonna move it's it really is like a fabulous product I have really fine hair so my hair kind of gets frizzy and all over the place if my hair was a little more thick coarse I think it wouldn't go like Phew, as much but it just doesn't stay together it's very tangly fine hair I just have a lot of it so it's even more tangly than ever what's going on here so this is basically how I get my hair under control for any sleek looks obsessed we'll have her purchase for life we'll continue to repurchase for life I can't live without it now this is a very newer one for me but I bought this at Sephora if you didn't watch my last video I went to Sephora actually I bought it at Ulta I lied to you <gasps> did I get it at Sephora I think I got it at Ulta anyways this is the Kenra this is their texture dry texture spray okay texture dry texture spray so my hair is pretty sleek and whenever I want to do a look like this today which this is just a messy bun I have bobby pinned up this is what I have to use this is the most texturizing spray like I will say I think this is the strongest texture spray I've ever used so automatically I fell in love with it normally with texture sprays I feel like I have to use half the bottle to really get that texture going I feel so weird without nails by the way I'm like <laughs> where are they I'm gonna have to go get my nails done I'm trying to do a month without them and I'm, I'm suffering y'all I need my nails anyways sidetrack anytime I want to do any type of look my hair is just way too sleek to stay up like this so I have to texture the house down and this is just the strongest texture spray bonus it smells like sweet candy so I feel like it's also a hair refresher as well as a texture moment so obsessed with it Kenra platinum dry texture spray strongest texture spray I've ever used can't live without it next item is this brush so my niece actually put me on she has super 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 like real curly hair whenever she wants to do a sleek look she has to use quite a bristly brush so we found this one at Target I'm gonna try to find the exact one it's by the brand and Annie this one is dual sided so it's like the best of the best if I lost this brush maybe I need to go buy another one I'm like <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do many updos but anytime you see my hair up I've used this brush so it has a softer bristly side which is really great for smoothing now this side looks soft but it's not it's hard as a rock this is the side I use to get my hair actually put up so whenever I'm brushing it up this side grabs the hairs like no other and puts them in place and then this side I flip it over to finish finish out smoothing the finished look. So I use both sides. This makes any type of updo 10 times easier. It's my favorite. I'm gonna cry if I can't find it for you guys, but I'm gonna search high and low because we bought it in store. So I'm hoping I can find it. I saw her using it and I said, where'd you get that brush? <laughs> she was like, Target. So the next time I went, she found one, me one and was like, girl, this is it. This is the moment and you need it. So I can't live without it. And I, I literally mean that. Like, I mean, I, I could live without it, but I don't want to, okay. Next item, this is so random. Manscaped razor. 
Okay, listen, this is for men, but is it really? No. An electric razor like this, this one's by Manscaped. Like you literally don't have to get this one. You can go anywhere and get one of these, but just an electric razor in general. So this is how I actually shave my arms. I literally like get tired of shaving, okay? I need to just laser them, but I'm super arm hairy. And this is what I do. I actually keep this razor up front. I've even done like my sideburns and like neck with this thing. It also has a light on it, if you can see, so it helps you see what you're doing. But just like a little mini electric charger chargeable razor is truly a game changer. Even if like I need, I like don't feel like shaving my legs, I laser them so I don't have a ton of leg hair these days, but if I need a touch up, I'll just get this and be like pew, 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 pew. Let's shave my arms together and talk about um, life, okay? But this is just one of the items that I strongly recommend. It makes my life easy. Look at all that hair, hold on, look at that. Woo, arm hair, hello. This just makes my life really easy. And yeah, I dust away any excess and then I moisturize my arms. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of this body oil. I have been using body oils more than I have lotions. It's strange, but like, I feel like they do, they last longer and like do a little more for me because I have pretty dry skin. So mm, that smells good. This is my first time using this. I got this at Target the other day. So I just want to try it, but I'm like, well, let's try new products today too. But this is kind of my like routine with shaving stuff. Like I just have this little razor and I'll link it down below, but you can probably find one at the drugstore because I don't know how much this one costs. They had sent it to me, but it's everything. I stole it from my husband and he will not be getting it back, but I need that on hand at all times. Okay, next, another razor. Did I mention this in my last one? I hope not, but this is the razor I use to shave my face. It's by Revlon. It comes in a two pack, a red and a white one. These are the sharpest, like little bladed handheld razors like this. I don't know specifically what you call them, but that I've ever used. So they sell a lot of these at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, like you'll see these. I've bought all those and they suck. They do not work nearly as good as these. So I just order these off Amazon, but they also sell them at Target if you're in store and you just wanna grab them. These have become quite popular and for good reasons. I see a bunch of people using them. I'm like, yes girl, you know. It's literally the best face razor. I do shave my face, whether it's a little mustache hair or me literally shaving my whole entire face, like dermaplaning, this is what I use. And I'm not gonna lie, like for shaving my face, because that's such serious business, I'll only use it like twice and then I'll get a new one. I won't necessarily throw it away, but like you need like the sharpest of the sharp razor if you're gonna be shaving your face to ensure you're not gonna cut yourself or give yourself razor burn. So these are the best, they're by Revlon. I'll link them down below. Next, I get asked so many times like, what do you use to dye your hair? So listen, I'm gonna put you on, but y'all sell me out of this. You're in trouble, okay? I swear to God, if I go to Target and they're sold out of my girl, I'm gonna have a panic attack because I did get two boxes of this to cover my whole head, but this is why I dye my specific roots with not my whole entire head. So this is number four, the Chloral Root Touch Up. This is my girl, this is what she looks like. Apply it to my roots. If you guys wanna see me um, do this, let me know, I can do it on YouTube. I did a video on TikTok using it. So my roots will be covered in this. I used two boxes of it. Number four is permanent, the best ever. Can't live without it. I'm gonna go to the store and buy some after this video because I'm scared. I'm just kidding, not that many people are gonna buy it. I'm crazy. Anyways, then this is the glaze. So this is a hair glaze. I've talked about this on my channel before. They actually reached out recently. It was like, we wanna sponsor you. And I was like, <laughs> Okay, yes, I literally use your product a lot. So I do this every other time I dye my hair because this is not as semi-permanent and it washes out after 10 washes. So what you do is you apply it to your hair. Your hair will be dry whenever you apply it. I avoid the roots. I just apply it like all the way down, coat my hair in it, leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes. 20 minutes and then wash it out. And it leaves my hair so shiny, so even in color, toned out, looking glossy and good. They have a bunch of different colors in it. They also have clear if you're not interested in like the dye aspect of it. You just need a little glaze on your hair if your hair is looking flat or dull. Definitely check this out. It's one of my favorite products. So I do these two together, but because this lasts 10 weeks, I dye my roots every three weeks. So I do this every other time. So next time I dye my hair, I'm gonna use it though, cause it's time. So that's kind of my hair routine, but those are the products I've been using for a while now and they're great probably over a year now maybe even more maybe two years i don't know but they're great they're great let's get into other things got my little basket don't look yet makeup eraser talked about it a hundred times you all see me buy makeup wipes and i've tried so hard to use less of those for the environment's sake okay i'm not perfect over here okay but I try, I do try to do certain things, okay? I try not to be terrible. And so I try to use those specifically for makeup swatches and stuff like that. But these to take my makeup off every night, I've been avoiding using the makeup wipes and using these. I've been using these for years. This one just has boobs all over it. I don't know, I think it was a breast cancer one, but they have a hundred of these in different colors. I will say they make these dupes on Amazon for these. They're pretty darn good. I do like the Makeup Eraser brand ones the 
best, but they are like $20 each, but you can use one side and the next night use the other side and just reuse, reuse, reuse. So it is nice instead of buying makeup wipes consistently, you're gonna save money with these in the long run anyways. You're gonna be saving money, but you could get the dupes off Amazon. I just like these a little more. They're a little more plush and I feel like they work just like a little bit better. But if you're not trying to spend $20 on a cloth, I get it. I'm with you. Obsessed though. Can't live without it. I have about 50 of these in my drawer and I just open my drawer, pluck one out every night and it's how I take my makeup off. It's my routine. You wet these by the way and you can just wipe. But what I like to do is apply my full face of makeup, either apply my oils that's gonna break down my makeup or apply my face wash, wet this and just wipe it all off and it comes off like magic. So everything, 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 everything. Moving on, let's talk about some underwear. Woo! I've talked about these before. So, I mean, a lot of the stuff I talked about before because it's items that I literally never stop using. So you you probably heard about them. Okay, let's talk about it. So thongs are not always like the most comfy thing on earth, but I think I found the comfiest thong on earth. Maybe they can be. Anyways, this is my Skims Fits Everyone thong. I buy them a size up because this is how stretchy they are, okay? And I like a little bit of looseness, so I buy it a size medium and this is what they look like. And yes, they will fit everyone. So the sizing doesn't have to be so specific with these, but I just like a little space, okay? I, I don't like any circulation to be cut off. These couldn't even cut off circulation because they're so lightweight. They kind of feel like you're not wearing any underwear when you wear them. So I bought a few of these early on when they came out with them because they looked so good. And I was like, okay, time. I just wanted like to grow out of the Victoria's Secret pink underwear with little doggies on it. Okay, I wanted to graduate from that. And so I was like, let me get some of these. And I slowly caught myself never ever wearing any other thongs. So I was like, wow, this is really the one. So I ordered a bunch of them. And they're not the only undies I wear, but they're the only thongs I wear pretty much they're everything I highly recommend them if you're looking for new comfy underwear they're also very breathable so you don't have to worry about your girl downstairs okay very breathable undies also they have a deal on skims where you can get these for like three for 36 they have a little deal kind of like Victoria's Secret does going where you can get multiple undies for a lower price and they also have those with the full back I just specifically think that that's like the best thong ever. Next, let's talk about retinols. You guys have been asking me about retinols so much and I've been noticing they've been kind of trending a little bit on TikTok. Like retinols have been getting trendy and I'm like, interesting. Hopefully people don't burn their face off. I'm always very careful before I talk about them because you shouldn't just recommend a retinol unless it's super, super weak. And then you should tell people it's super weak. You know what I mean? Because they're tricky. They really are. They're a derivative of vitamin A. They're like liquid Accutane. They can permanently shrink your pores unlike any other skincare product product and they will lighten dark spots over time smooth out fine wrinkles they can literally change your face and that's why tretinoin which is generic for retinol same thing tretinoin retinol are getting so popular i guess people are figuring out about them there's a couple tricky things about them they don't work unless you use them a ton very consistent with them or you're really not going to see any benefits and you're going to be frustrated okay so consistency with your retinols and then you're going to see long-term results results I told this story before but when i worked at the dermatologist like this woman came in to get her retinol and I thought she had a facelift. She had been using retinol since her 20s and she was like in her 50s. And it was strange because like she looked like she aged, but her just like her skin didn't have any of those tight little fine wrinkles on it anywhere. And I was like, is that a facelift? And the doctor was like, no, she's used the strongest retinol since her 20s and her skin just looks incredible. I mean, it didn't even have like one spot on it. It was just like, what? So I was like, girl, sign me up. So I'm a retinol believer. So I have dry skin if you have dry skin you're gonna want to use a lighter one you have more oily porous skin you might be able to jump in with a little bit of a stronger one this is the Biosant squalene retinol night serum this one's really light you don't have to dilute it or mix it with anything you can apply it straight to your face I've almost used this whole bottle so I love it <sighs> and this is the big dog here this is the skin medica which we actually used to sell skin medica at our dermatologist that I worked at it is a medical grade brand you can buy it over the counter this one is 0.5 they have 1.0 which is the strongest of strong and what you have to do is graduate your skin to this so you can start by using like half a pea size amount you can do a test strip on the side of your neck to see if that's going to leave you burny leave you pilly if it doesn't you're good to go ahead and apply to your face or if you want to go ahead and get this and get your skin used to it what I like to do I'm going to show you so I'll apply about like that I would say that's a pea size amount to a little more than a pea size amount then what you're going to do let me just grab a moisturizer 
You're gonna take your favorite moisturizer that you're putting on top and you're gonna dilute it. So you're gonna mix them together as a potion. So you have your retinol and your moisturizer all in one and then you're gonna add it to your skincare and that's how you can graduate your skin to getting used to a retinol. I'm like, well, let me just rub this in everywhere. Cause your skin does get used to them and you can build up. It's just important that you aren't burning your skin. You need to use sunscreen with retinols cause it makes your skin like baby skin. It makes your cell turn over time faster. So your skin's like fresh baby skin. So it will burn in the sun. So make sure you're protecting your skin. If you're starting to get tingly and burny, back off, take a few nights off and then come back on another tip I see a lot of people do they put skincare on and then what do they do they go straight to bed and smash their face into their pillow that is occluding your face and that's locking in that product so tight on your face that your skin can't breathe so it can burn your face if you're putting on your skincare at least do it an hour before bed or at least like watch TV like lay up so it really absorbs in before you just like occlude it and smash your face to your pillow that is some tips and tricks for me I'm sure there's more I probably need to think about and tell you but this is a weaker one by Biosance. They also have weaker ones at the drugstore. And then this one is pretty darn strong. It's not the strongest. 1.0 is the strongest. 0.5 is the medium one. And I still have to dilute this because I have dry skin, but it works. I noticed a difference. Love retinols. Okay, that was like a 10 year speech. Okay, now you know everything, but those are some that I love. Elta MD, do we really need a deep dive here or do I just need to say it? This is my favorite facial sunscreen. This is also a sunscreen we sold at the dermatologist's office that I worked at over eight years ago and I'm still using the products that we sold because they work. This one just works well with makeup. And so I just put it on every day. I have a lot of problems with facial sunscreen making my eyes water. And this is one of the only ones that doesn't do that to me. Like I hate a watery eye and they get me good. So that's the one. Deodorant, native. This video is not sponsored by them, but they have sponsored me in the past. If I still have like discounts, I'll try to link them down below. This is my favorite deodorant that's aluminum free. I notice a lot of people when they switch to an aluminum free de deodorant, they hate all of them and they can't find the perfect one. And that's because your body has to acclimate to them. So you gotta give it a little bit of time, but this one I will say is the closest to an aluminum feeling deodorant. It's not wet gel like, it has like a powdery dry feeling to it. So this one one's just the easiest to get acclimated for the best price. You can also get these at Target. They have a million different scents and I love them. My husband uses them, my niece uses them, I use them. And when I first started using them, I felt really wet in the underarm because I felt like I was sweating a lot and my body was just like detoxing. It was like, oh my God, we can sweat again. Then it all stopped and like everything went back to normal. I just had to break the cycle of using aluminum deodorant. So this one, it's bomb.com. Fragrance, okay, my last one I mentioned, this scent Hall 33. Still obsessed with that, but I gotta say, I bought this one with my niece, this Marc Jacobs one, and I cannot stop wearing it. I've worn it for like a month straight. Every time I look at all my fragrances, I just want this one. This one is very warm. It's a strong fragrance. It's not fresh and airy. It is strong. It's warm and sweet. It just smells like, mm, I wanna say like a warm, rich amber but it's not spicy at all. It has like a really sweet afternote to it that's almost a little bit floral. And it's not like fresh, it's more like, ah, oh, yeah, it smells so good. <laughs> I don't know, I have trouble <laughs> describing fragrances, but this one's like a heavy, warm, sensual, nighttime fragrance. I've been wearing it in the day, but the vibe of it is a little more nighttimey, and I've been using a lot of it. I love this. By the way, they came out with a springtime one. I tried to pick up at Ulta and they were sold out and I want it so bad because it smelled so good. And I feel like Marc Jacob fragrances last. Hallelujah, a fragrance that lasts. Do you guys ever get a fragrance and you spray it on and then you can't smell it after like an hour? It's so annoying, but I feel like these are so strong they last. If you get headaches from fragrances and you're like, can't do it, you might wanna avoid these, honestly. Okay, let's keep the party going. This is my favorite exfoliator because it's probably one of the strongest exfoliators I've ever used. I'm a believer in exfoliating your skin. I do it one to two times a week, depending on how dry my skin is that week, but it just kind of buffs away all that dead old skin and leaves you with a fresh face ready to 
to absorb all those delicious, expensive skincare products you're applying. I bought this stuff for a YouTube video, The Skin by Kit. Um, I love the products, but I will say the exfoliator really stood out to me. It's so strong, it almost feels like sandpaper. And when I felt it, I loved it. Whenever I finish scrubbing my face with this, it feels like I have new baby skin. My skin has never felt softer. This is just my favorite go-to exfoliator. And it's like, oh my God, it's so tiny in here, right? Because remember, it's like the pop out and you like buy, pay extra for the container, which you don't have to do, I guess. Oh, maybe you do, because then you wouldn't have a lid, right? Like look how tiny that is. So I've been using this for months and months and months and months. Look how much I've used, okay? It will probably take me the rest of the year to use this because it's so strong and so aggressive. You literally just need a baby scoop, wet it, rub it in and start polishing round circles, it, it makes a difference in your skin. So I kind of get why they don't give you a ton because you don't need a ton of this. Love it, best exfoliator ever. Super strong though. Then we're gonna talk about Crest White Strips. I get asked all the time, how do you get your teeth? These are not veneers, okay? Actually someone the other night was like, you have veneers, right? And I was like, ah, I don't, thank you that. <laughs> but anyway, this is how I get my teeth white. Literally Crest White Strips. There's no magic potion, there's no magic toothpaste, there's no charcoal this, charcoal that. Crest White Strips. They're so simple and they just work. They just literally work. Sometimes people are like, it makes my teeth are too sensitive for them and I get that, but I don't know, they work for me. And I use them a couple of times a week and it kind of like maintains a white smile for me. So this one's kind of plain and simple, but girl, get the Crest White Strips. Like no, no funky blue lights and all this stuff. These are also very easy. One tip, don't fall asleep with them in your mouth. My niece did and her teeth were looking like pieces of chalk. So make sure you're not doing it whenever you're tired and laying in the bed because they will wreck your teeth. Although her teeth did go back after like a couple of days. Honestly, I just leave them off for like 10 to 15 minutes and I'm like gorgeous. So love those. I'm gonna talk about some makeup products that I will not be putting down and I use every single time I would do my makeup. First is the Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. I did not expect to love this foundation as much as I love it because so many people were like, it's glitter, it's sparkly, it's so greasy and shiny. And I was like, huh. But I kind of get where they were getting that information because if you look at the bottle, it kind of looks like there's glitter in there, which is scary for foundation. We're not trying to look like Edward Cullen up in here, okay? So I, the shade 120, by the way, but I was like, let me give it a go. And y'all know I love that Hourglass Vanish Stick. This one beats that one. This one became my number one. She's been number one for a minute. I'm wearing it right now and it just looks like skin. So I have a very expressive face. I just spit everywhere. <laughs> But I have a very expressive face, like a lot of, okay, maybe not a lot of movement in the forehead, Botox, but I do express around my mouth. So I get a lot of creasing in my makeup. And it's interesting, I find that this foundation like adheres to your skin and moves with your skin. So it's not breaking apart. And it has a lot of play time. So whenever you apply it, you can blend it out. You have time to move it around. But once it, 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 it dries down, it stays kind of dewy, but it moves with your skin. So it's not just like, caked on and breaking when you move. It moves with you. And that's the thing I like about this foundation the most because it makes my skin look so good, especially after wearing it for a long time. I didn't really notice this making me oily or super shiny. I just said it with, rather, with regular translucent powder and it's so beautiful. I already have my summer shade ready right here. 120 for right now, 140 for the summer. You won't regret it. If you have super, super, super oily skin, I don't know, I feel like you guys still might like it because it's not that shiny. Give it a go. You can always return it as before if you don't like it. Okay, this product is like brand spanking new for me and I screamed. Okay, I was like, what is this? When we did my Sephora haul, it's a concealer for all over your face. So you can use it like a foundation, you can spot treat with it, or you can use like a concealer. And it has insane coverage on it, but it looks so natural. It's the concealer I'm using to spot treat right now. Whenever I'm not wearing, do my full foundation routine and I'm just bopping around. This is what I've been using just to, I do dot, dot, and then anywhere I wanna cover. I got it in the shade 11C, which is not a brightening shade. 11C is closer to my actual skin tone because I want it to use it all over, so I didn't want it to be super white. But I just blend it out and it is so beautiful. It covers incredibly well. It's probably my favorite, 
product Milk Makeup has ever made. I highly recommend you guys try this concealer. If you're looking for a good concealer or just like you don't do a full base foundation routine, you just wanna spot treat a little bit of coverage. It has maximum coverage, but it's good for like all over the face too. It's such a great formula. Try this out, obsess. I kinda wanna get it in the lighter shade as well to brighten, but that's what I use for spot treating or when I'm not doing my full foundation routine, okay? Next, these two products kinda, well actually these don't go hand in hand. This is my favorite powder. My makeup artist, Rubina, she used this on me multiple times and I was finally like, okay girl, what is the powder? And she was like, it's the Chanel, it's so good. People don't know about it, but it's so expensive. And also do not let this bottle fool you. It's the same size as a, like a bottle like this. They just made the packaging bigger, but like if you read, it's one ounce and then this is also 1.5 ounces. So you actually get a little more in this. So just don't let the packaging fool you. But I will say a little goes a long way. This is medium. So I set like my contour and bronze around my skin. I even use this eyeshadow. It's so finely milled. It's probably one of the finest milled, softest powders I've ever used. It's fabulous. It leaves me with a velvet airbrush finish, but it's so soft and fine grain. It looks like nothing's on my skin. I don't know. Oh, Chanel, you do this to me. Why are you so expansive? Okay, next, the velvet sponges. Any velvet sponge, doesn't matter what brand, doesn't matter who made it, they're iconic. And I used to not use these so much, but now I can never do my makeup without a velvet sponge because of the best for setting powder. It's also great to keeping your purse for touch-ups because they grab and absorb that oil. But these are from Amazon, they're really cheap, and I use these to set my face and to bake. I got this one recently by the Beauty Blender. I'm gonna put it in my purse, just a little touch up one. Huda Beauty created large ones for your face. They're great. I'm like, well, how many do we have? We have mini ones from Huda Beauty. They're great. Any velvet powder I will have on deck for life. It is literally the airbrush makeup trick. So velvet sponges. Did I say velvet powder? I mean velvet sponges. Chef's kiss. Okay. Okay, we're almost done. Did you get a snack? I'm hungry. It's all I can think about is food. I ordered chicken pot stickers. Oh, my food's outside. All right, got two more items. My Comedon extractors. So if you have a stubborn blackhead, whitehead, or zit that won't pop, I get these off Amazon. We also use them at the dome. But uh, they have a little pokey side. You wanna sanitize these with alcohol uh, first, but they have a pokey side and they have the little thin side where you can just press and pop it out without the squeezing on your skin and marking up your skin and leaving marks because it has that cir that circle. It creates pressure around the zit and, or blackhead and pops it right out. Best thing ever, especially whenever my skin is like, has a little bit of texture. I see like some white heads or blackheads popping up. I'll put Poke and push. Done. So this is like a must have for me. I always have these on hand. And then lastly, I'm a plug it. I am the plug. So lastly is our new lip glosses from Larly Los Angeles. This is the color I use every single day. They are $12 each. So they're literally pretty much drugstore prices. They have a magnetic closure, which is interesting cap. So you don't have to twist it. You can pull it right off. Oop. And then you can pop it back on. Super interesting. And then uh, this is what I use. It's called Nude Blossom every day. We have three shades. This is the one for me. It also smells delicious. They're very sheer they're not goopy and they have a high shine glass like finish comes on a paddle brush you can get three for 30. here's the other two shades we have like a rosy one um champagne sparkly one and then just your basic nude everything my favorite gloss i hate a goopy gloss and i also hate gl glosses that leave me like with gunk in the corners of my mouth because they're so goopy these do not do that to me because i created them that way i'm plugging myself but you guys check them out i will have every single item i linked including these right down below and i hope this video was helpful because I feel like the stuff I mentioned is kind of like my most asked questions like what retinols are you using what brushes are you using how are you getting your hair to look like that how are you dyeing your hair what are you shaving your face with what's your favorite gloss your favorite powder your favorite foundation like those are my most asked questions so I feel like we kind of covered those grounds in this video be sure to smash that subscribe button before you leave I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one bye guys